Hello again and welcome back to my series on iconic structures. Now this structure and I'm going to draw today is very famous. It's the Statue of Liberty in New York. And um, I'm going to draw the whole statue on its plinth, on its base, and I'm going to start off with the head and a curve at the top here for the headdress, which comes round like that. And the bottom of the headdress, like a bit like a big dinner plate shape, you know. <laughs> and below that you get the uh, the curve of the hair. And then the face is fairly square, a squarish face like that. By the way, if you want more details, I'll be able to draw the face in much more detail. You go to my video on how to draw the iconic face of the Statue of Liberty. You'll find out how to draw it in much more detail. Okay, uh, another line coming up here. And of course, from the top we have the starburst shapes coming out here, the radiation of the radiating of the points of the star. Look at that, okay? And uh, put in the features later. Um, now she's standing with her right arm raised, carrying the torch of enlightenment. Uh, the statue was a, based on a Roman goddess, Libertas, meaning bringing liberty to the world and enlightenment. And see the gap there? The arm is raised like this. Coming up to the wrist, and her thumb will appear on one side of the torch, and her fingers kind of wrap. You'll see three of them, I think, wrapped around the, the base of the torch, like that. And the base of the torch comes in, you can hear and you see the bottom of it appearing like that. And the top of the torch is a curve. And then, of course, the, the flame spilling in the wind like that. Okay. Right, and she also has things hanging down from the back of her head there. And, of course, the shape of her costume is swooping down like that in the folds. I think it's called a Stella. Uh, a Stola. <laughs> I'll have to check that one out. And it uh, comes around like that. And this would swoop across the chest and down the side, like that. And of course, because that arm is high, the shoulders drop slightly. So you get the sense of the other arm coming in there. And all the drapery is kind of folding around like this. Long flowing lines. Like that, okay. And the drapery of the folds, doing that kind of thing, curving round the body there. Like that, and of course on this side, there are more folds, but they also have her left half is holding tabula insata which uh, is a tablet on which is inscribed in Roman numerals July the 4th, 1776, which of course is the date of the US Declaration of Independence. Now she's holding it, uh, one finger comes up over there like that, another one slightly bent, another one coming in there like that, and a little pinky appearing about there, with the rest of her hand coming down behind the tablet there. And tablet carrying on, and then the bottom half of our sleeve appearing there. And more folds coming down like that, drapery right down to the bottom, maybe doubling over, and right down to the base, which goes across here. Like that, and there's a few more lines going across there. The next part of the of the base, and then another part here with a line going across, and just to give an idea of the size of this. This is an opening down here. This is a kind of gallery that people can come out and 
of a wander around. All this in here, the figures will be about this size, so you can see the, the size of the, of the statue is enormous. And then you have the, bar, the, the balustrade here. Like that. And another line there. And below that, another one. And you've got the got a kind of locker tree coming in here with four columns. One, two, three, four, that coming down. Like that. Okay, so that's basically the, the foundations, you know, the kind of base that she's standing on. And oh, I forgot to do her the details of her face. But as I said, you know, go to my go to my video on the actual face itself, and you have a much better idea of the details and the way the face really looks. But I'll put in the face roughly just now. Rather large eyes, turned down slightly at the corners there. Let me try and get a top to the nose. And then I've got a full mouth. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to get a pen out and um, uh, I'll link in. Okay, see you in a second. Right, well, let's start with the details of the face. Eyebrows kind of down that way. The triangles there. With the eyes sloping down the way. And the full mouth. And the, the squarish jawline. Okay, then you have the shape of the hair and the underside of the the shape on the top, and you can put these lines in for here coming in like that. Okay, and her neck. There's a kind of slight line underneath it as well. Put in, and the line of the neck like that, okay? And the top of our headdress, as it says, is a curve, which is another line in here. And of course, coming up from that, you have these shapes here, which are viewing windows. And then star shapes. Coming behind a ram there, you possibly see a doubling up of these lines here. Lightly, okay, like that. And then we have parts of the kind of ribbons hanging down the back, like that. And her arm raised now, the curve, the costume here, and the, the wrinkles come in. Right, coming up over her arm. And the curve 
outward shape of our arm coming into the elbow and then out again. Like that. Our thumb over the torch. And with our fingers peering in there. I think we only see three of them. That one's probably behind there. And then the top of the torch coming in there. You get a curve. And then you get this kind of shape. Okay, and the flame coming up behind it there. Excellent. And then the rest of the torch carrying on, coming down, and her grip there, and a couple of kind of knob shapes there, and then the end of the torch. Okay, now the folds of her costume. I'll maybe change to yeah, I'm going to change to the on the side of this now, slightly broader tip. Like that. And the curve coming right around her body. Like that. And then the dip of her shoulder. And the costume, these folds in the costume coming down like that. I'm quite elegant. bottom part coming in and below that coming up down to the base and then perhaps these folds here are rocking up over her foot which you can't see and the other side hanging down here and a bit of material coming in there and one doing that, and the rest kind of coming out there. And we're moving on now to her left hand, which is holding the tabula ansata, which is this kind of shape here the edge and her finger coming in, one finger there. You'll see the oh, four I think in this side. Like that. Come down behind the tablet there. Okay and then the folds of her sleeve. Now back down to the base. The angles there. Like that, then down this part of the wall here. That's another line coming up, going across to that opening I talked about. And a couple of kind of rectangles going across the top there, and then you have the actual opening itself, which I'll shade in there. Okay, and then the stone balustrade coming over here. That's a line there. Like that. 
and uh, one slightly in from there. Okay, and another one. I think that actually angles in now, like that. That's right, and then we have these parts coming in. There, there's one coming down there. And then we have the top of the part where the columns are. One, two, three, four. And it's really dark in there as well, so a bit of shading in there too. Okay, and then there's a line across here, and there there's a kind of stonework that appears like that. Excellent. So there we have the Statue of Liberty in all her glory. And she's wearing a stola, by the way, and pella, which is the cloak. Okay. Um, let's see the line here, double that up. There we are. That's better. Excellent. So I hope you enjoyed that. You can join me in my next tutorial where I'll be drawing another iconic structure from around the world. <laughs> okay, so all the best in the meantime then, and happy drawing!